main thing I want to say is that the next few weeks it's going to get hard. Um, <clears throat> so what I want to say to people, if you start feeling symptoms, don't panic. Don't panic. Like the other day I got like a short tickly thing with throat there. Um, I was drinking hot coffees and it went. This morning I woke up with sore throat. I've gargled salt water. Again, drank um, warm water, um, warm boiled water and it's gone. <clears throat> so it's wrong. The thing is with these um, this virus, as far as I'm not a nurse or a doctor, I'm not qualified for all that. I'm telling you what I've learned and what I, this is my opinion. I could be wrong, I don't know. But I'm just telling you what I'm doing. When I feel um, a tickly, throat, tickly thing coming in my throat, I'm drinking hot water straight away. Goggling, um, salty water, just being out to the house and bought a load of lemons because that's meant to be antiseptic. So I'm going to be cutting them up, putting them into boiling water and drinking that all day. There's things you can do to prevent this from getting to your lungs. You've got to stop the virus before it gets to your lungs. If it gets down to your stomach, it will dilute, and then it's not as, it's not as dangerous. Apparently, that's what I've read and listened listen to on that voice clip that I've been sent. So in case anyone else listened to it, I'm just basically repeating what I've heard. <coughs> Don't panic. That's the main thing. Get your self parties more in. If you get aches and pains, I've I've known a few, few people personally now who've um, got these symptoms, and um. It is, it is worrying, but the worst thing you can do is run around and panic and say to people, oh my god, this is it, wow, bang, I'm gone, finished. It's not the case. Most people are going to come through this unharmed. Mainly the, mainly the elderly and the ones with underlying health conditions we need to worry about. So, and even even then, I don't know, I'm, I'm assuming if you catch it early enough, you stop it going to the lungs, it might not do as much damage. So, gargle salt water, maybe once a day, or if you feel a sore throat coming on. Drink hot water, hot coffee, tea, hot chocolate, any hot drinks, wash it down to your stomach, um, and hot lemon, then water. Lemon is antiseptic and it kills the virus. This is what I've heard. So I'm just passing the word on. Stay safe, everyone. Don't panic. Look after each other. Be happy and appreciate what you've got today. See you soon. As well, when it comes to going out, um, when I'm going out, I'll put gloves on. And the shoes are where to go out in, I'll leave on the step when I come in. Um, I'm mopping floors, stuff like that, I'm getting shopping when I go into my shopping. If you're able to do this, leave it in the booty cart and let it follow day. Obviously freezer stuff you can't if you've got to put it in your freezer. But this is what I'm doing personally, I'm just leaving bits that I can in the car till the following day. Because apparently the virus only lasts for so many hours. Obviously research all this yourself, this is this, just again I'm saying what I'm doing. I've just been the house before for shopping, um, it's still in the booty cart, I'm going to bring it in tomorrow. She wonders what this is on my eye. When I was crying yesterday, trying to wipe my eyes with tissues and not just the glue. So, we're all crying, we're all upset. But, we'll get through this. Main thing is keep hope. Look after yourselves and give each other advice like I'm doing now. If you've got a thing that you're doing, you spread, spread the word, put it in a message. Or online, or inbox it, make a video. It's what you need to do and help each other out. So I've come in from being out, I've ad- read the advice on what to do, you come in, take your clothes off, wash them, get a bath. This is what I've just done. So I'm trying to minimise the, time, the amount of times I go out, obviously because I want to get in the bath every time I come in. So yeah, just thought I'd pass the little message on about the little things that I'm doing to uh, keep yourself safe and on others. So look after yourselves, if you want any tips or advice on things you're doing, inbox me, let me know. Get loads of policies all in. Just being the house there in Bootle, they've got loads of supplies. There's no panic in there. I, I was made up. I was bent up in floods of tears. I wouldn't be able to shop with the manic, the, the craziness going on because I can't handle it I'm in the best of times, manic situation. So I definitely wouldn't have, wouldn't have handled it today. But I got there at 8 o'clock and the, the guy was just saying to everyone, it's NHS from 8 o'clock onwards until 9 o'clock even. So from 8 till 9, it's NHS and it was organised. There was no queues of NHS waiting to go in. They were all coming and going one at a time. As and when. There was no panic on at all. The nine o'clock came, um everyone was like outside but all away from each other, no one was like right next to each other. They were all keeping the space, what do they call it? Social distancing. They were all doing it and I felt better for seeing it. So we're all out there spreading what's going wrong, but let's spread what's going right as well. People are coming together now. I'm trying to get make this minimised. Look after yourself, you feel the tick- tickly thing in your throat. Good evening before you feel it. Lemon in warm water. Salty water. Gargle it once a day. Or as you, if you feel the sore throat coming on. 
I can't know what's going to happen to me. I'm going to get all kinds of big things tomorrow and then I'll advise again on what I'm doing with that. But um, <clears throat> each day that's passing now, I'm learning new things on what to do and it's keeping me calm. I'm meditating. I recommend it to everyone, which I've always done anyway. People leave me all the time banging my body. Meditating with my half technique. Um, like last night I couldn't sleep. First time I've been able to sleep for years. And that's because the night before, I went, the last two nights I've gone to bed really late. And I've got up halfway through the day. So there's my lesson learned. Tonight we're going to bed at 8 o'clock again. 8, 9 o'clock. Getting up early in the morning. Because I'm not going to start going downhill. We're lying in bed all day and getting up all around the bend. We've got to prepare ourselves now for what's to come. Prepare yourself mentally. Is what we need to do. Keep your head strong. So you can help people. Rather than everyone running around like headless chickens. Not knowing what to do. Whatever makes you strong you're going to do it. That's what I'm going to be doing. I've got ideas. I'm going to start drawing them up. My oil on the wall. I'm going to sort my garden out, I'm going to clean the house up, help out as and when I can. That's what we need to do, pull together, which I'm feeling it anyway. When I'm in the house now and, and tend more to try and smile at people more than I used to do. Things like that. Just a little smile to someone you don't know. Or if someone's asking you to question, answer them. Like, it's hard, I don't know that, because I had to tell and I looked at the fellow and I thought, you know what, respect to you. And I felt that upset, I couldn't even smile at them or let them know. I thought there was a person to see us. And as I'm um, waiting to go in the Asda, the NHS staff are coming out and I just feel like saying to them, do you know what, thank you so much for what you're doing right now. Just respect them for what they're doing. Because I couldn't do it. I'm going to start whinging and whining or I'm not whinging and whining. But it's just the thoughts of what they're doing out there you now. They haven't got a choice to stay at home, so you've got the choice. Stay at home. Let's, let's, let's get the numbers down in the Let's not go out for pointless trips. If you can get someone to go with you, let them go with you. Stay in. There's going to be enough people going in the hospital now, like, like getting sick and... If we can minimise that, let's do it. And if there's another thing and all the young kids going around coughing and spitting at elderly. Like, if that's your son, just make them realise that they've got they might have a grandma somewhere so one day gonna need that help. And they're causing un unnecessary illnesses onto elderly. Um it's not all doom and gloom, it's not we'll get through this. I've got through worse. It might not be as bad as the saying. Hopefully it's not as bad as what the saying. I packed my job in the other day because I, I can't face it. I feel like I'm passing it round because I'm not, I haven't got the, the materials. I need to keep myself safe and others. I've got to live with that now. But it's not about me, is it? It's not about me. So it's everyone. Let's all pull together and do our little bit. And just respect the nurses who are out there now. Like the NHS have had a bad name in the past. And all of a sudden now we're, like, we're up there putting them on a stage. They've been doing this for years, before this even hit. They're dealing with viruses and I have done it myself in gear work. Where you go into um, a place in MRSA for example. I worked in a nursing home, been, I've been lots and lots of the client, clients who's had MRSA. And I've had to wear gloves, apron and all that, I don't know even know. Like these NHS staff are doing this day in, day out. They've done it, they've started their career, they've, they've gone to college and university to do what they're doing. So I just respect that and like I've seen them come out the answer this morning and I, I literally I felt like just clapping and because I didn't want to embarrass them, do you know what I mean? But I wanted to go over and say, you know what? Thank you for what you're doing right now. Because you're braver than me. I couldn't do it. I just respect them, hey, putting themselves out there to help everyone. So let's show them respect. I'd love to be able to like leave a little rose on the car or then you don't want to be passing on, do you know what I mean? But let's just show them. Or maybe Facebook um, profile picture blue because they might go online and see if everyone's gone blue for them and it'd be like a little, little push them forward. I don't know, I think if it was me and I seen that, I'd be like, oh, do you know what? I need us to see that at this minute. There's nurses who were going to work and they're coming home and they're having to. Not, I've, I've had two weeks of it, I didn't want to even sit near my son. So there's going to be nurses who've got young kids, little babies, who, mommy, mommy, when they're going in, they can't pick them up because they don't know what they've got on them. They're scared to hug and kiss their own kids, and they're still going to work the next day. 
I'll just show some respect for them. And I'm Peter Marley, respect them. I'm not saying you're not. I'm not saying them, not respecting them. But if you see someone who's who is disrespecting them, maybe just point out like like what that person might be stood in their shoes right now. Because I know I wouldn't. I'm not that brave. And people know me now I'm I am brave and quite out there and I do want what I do and but at the minute I'm not brave. I'm not feeling brave at all. I'm trying to minimise the risk. Keep myself together and not worry about family and friends too much. Because it's not gonna help people if I not start rolling around crying all the time, is it? So let's all be strong, you know. Be strong, be kind. The Caroline Flack message that was going around just before this happened, so let's carry that on. Be kind to each other. Like everyone's listening to this right now, I care about you, believe it or not. I care about you and your health. Every time I hear someone on Facebook or someone in their inbox, like, oh, I've got symptoms, I'm not well, I make heart goes on to them. And I sit and worry about them. I send them a message because I'm thinking about them. Like, you're okay, how are you doing? It's not like I just forget about it. And I know everyone else, I know you're the same. Hopefully everyone's the same. So let's just spread that love around the world at the minute. Spread it round, that's what we need to get through this. People need to feel like we care. And we do. Deep down we do care, we know, we know we care. This crisis now has happened for a reason, it's bringing everyone together. We're all thinking on the same wavelength. So let's try and stay positive and keep each other up. I know I'm spreading, I'm sharing stories now, but sometimes I turn me to educate people. I'm not trying to scare people. Let's anyone who's trying to spread fear, let's not do that, eh? Let's spread the stories where people are coming through. No point in preempting what's going to happen. I could sit here now and drive myself round the bend. What's going to happen? I don't know. My daughter's out there in the world. My mum's in there, in their own house. I can't go and see them. My son's upstairs. I know what he's doing, thank God. But I can't do that for my daughter and my mum. I can't be there for them. But I'm not going to think that far ahead. I'm thinking about now and today. Let's think about now. So, that's just a little message to thought I'd send out there to everyone who's struggling with the minute. We'll get through this and we'll be, we'll be okay at the end of it. One way or another, we'll pull each other, we'll pull each other through. Stay strong, guys. Wash your hands. Keep your distance. Drink lemon. Salt water. Just generally look after yourself. Stay safe. Stay in touch. Send me an inbox with your little take on things. I mean, yeah. Got my phone number, inbox me, I'll give you it, you ring me, talk to me all day, I'm just sitting here anyway. We'll start going online soon with music and that soon and all when I get me stuck together. Like at the minute I just feel a bit demotivated as most people are. But as time goes on, I'm going to start getting myself together because pff, we can't sit here like this for months on end. However long it's going to go on, we just can't. We're all human and when you go back to Mother Nature and when you go back to the wild, yeah, I watched them um, wildlife programs, right? Where there's a lion out there and she's had her cubs killed in front of her. And she might move around for like a day or two. But she'll pick herself up and she'll carry on. Go back to nature, start watching nature programmes and watch how the wild survive in hard times. You learn from them. That's what I've done. I've done that. You learn from them, you watch them. Animals who've like, lost their, their young in front of them, they've been killed by like lions could get killed by the dad and the mum's not sitting there, nothing she can do. She's got to carry on. Maybe some of the other cubs survive and she's got to carry on and show them where to go and what to do with life and how to, live, how to survive. So let's do that, eh? See you soon, guys. Keep smiling. Let's spread some love and joy in the world at the minute because we all need it. See you soon.